so inquisitor. It's inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little badges I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what does step in? Hey, I didn't expect it either, all right? I've apparently been through a lot. Yes, Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be, oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. Impossible things aren't surprises. Well, um, okay, calm down and explain, will you? I can't help if you don't explain what's wrong exactly. It's got to be nonsense, doesn't it? What kind of screwed if it isn't? I mean, that Corypheus thing. A Magister, right? Story is, he cracked the Golden City. But that's a hazy dream. If not, seat of the Maker, real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker, real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world, real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. Mm, mm, mm. Do you believe or not? You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe it or not? In Andras Day? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing? It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this Corypheus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. Um, I'm gonna say something encouraging. I need doubters like you, Sarah. Keep calling it nonsense. That perspective will keep the Inquisition grounded. Oh, I can do that. Sure could use a few more people shouting no. We fight, the bad things go away, everyone calms down, and everything goes back to normal. A nice, well-paid normal. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> just follow orders crazy. <laughs> uh, let's say... Oh, I hope there's more you want. Yeah. I'm hoping you'll stick around. Never know what might interest you. Or how little, Lord Inquisitor. But don't worry, I'll stay for the food. Alright. Well, boy, I... Boy, she just kind of disappeared. Um, <laughs> I wonder if it's bad to flirt with all of your female... Um, party members. Hey Vivian, how's it going? Maker, you're a mess. Let me have a look at you. Are you all right, my dear? Were you hurt? You look dreadful. You know, I'm fine. I'll be fine, don't worry. You bear it well. Good. The troops will take their cue from your composure. Now, let's keep up appearances. You've handled this crisis competently, saving as many lives as you did. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. Hey, mind your own business. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. Well, my normal inquisitive uh, option isn't here. I don't think I would say mind your own business. It worked in your favor. I, that sounds like a mean thing to say. Gorypheus will pay for this. So much depends on me. I couldn't save them all. You know, I do feel bad about that. For every person I saved, two more were cut down. I failed them. You haven't failed them, my dear. The men and women who fight for you gave their lives for a great cause, and they fought to the end. The rest still fight, and you will fail them if you give up now. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first, and teach them to fear us. I think you know what needs to be done, my dear. Hmm. I do. Why don't you tell me what you think I need to be needs to be done? You know, just so I can make sure we're on the same page. Yo, Blackwall, what's up? So, this is Skyhold. Mm -hmm. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. Oh, what? What, you're giving me orders now? We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. Well, you know, well, let's say something encouraging, and we'll be ready for him. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. 
Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. You're no good to me, dead. That's not what I would say. I would just simply say thank you. I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn. Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. What is it with the people just walking away from me in the middle Tell of the conversation? Honestly, oh. Are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. I, I don't know, dude. Dude, I, I just don't know, man. There's so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah, now he's totally disappeared. And now he's left me up here. I don't know where I am, dude. Don't leave me up here. Alright. Somebody move those boxes and barrels so I can get through that door. Can I go through here? I can. Let's go through here. Maybe this is how I get to Varric. Ooh, gosh. Is this my room? I hope not. It's pretty crappy. I mean, look, there's holes in the ceiling. Holes in the wall I could probably deal with, but the ceiling? That's where I draw the line. How are you today, sir? Sir? Man, rude people around here. There's Varric. Let's talk to Varric. What's up, bro? Oh. Look at this. Me enjoying a little bit of wine on the battlements. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Pretty cool, I like it. How's it going, old buddy? Let's have a chat. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though. I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. Hmm. I know how that feels, dude. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thedas. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor. But I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Hmm. Is it reversible? If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Uh, what were you investigating, man? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered red lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. Hmm. Well, thank you. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Uh, 
Let's read a little bit. Oh, whoops. Never mind. We're still talking to this guy. Uh, you fought Corypheus? You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. What happened in Kirkwall? Barrick said you were the champion of Kirkwall. I've only heard a little about what happened there. What happened at Kirkwall was the same thing that happened everywhere. Fearful of blood magic and abominations, the Templars brutally suppressed the Circle. And in their desperation to survive, the mages of the Circle turned to blood magic or became abominations. Finally, a rebel mage named Anders destroyed Kirkwall's Chantry. And everything came tumbling down. You knew Anders? I heard that Anders was your friend. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Why are you alone? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the Free Marches. My uncle Gamlin's still in Kirkwall. And everyone else I used to know? They've pretty much scattered to the winds. Where have you been? Where did you go after the mages rebel? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hope that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. What has Varric told you? I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. All right, nice talking to you. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. So, um, I was going to look in the codex here. Uh, characters, there was some hero business I wanted to read about. Or no, champion. Where is he? Oh, he's not in here. Hmm. It was like the champion of Kirkwall. Why is it not in here? The champion of Kirkwall. Good lord, who sorted these? I've heard the name Hawk on several lips this week. Many of us blame the champion for the events in Kirkwall, which sparked a war and hurled all Thetis into chaos. But can we truly fault Hawk for what he did? He was a poor refugee from Ferelden who came to the Free Marches fleeing the Blight. Coming from a family of apostates, Hawk must have spent his life hiding from Templars, hearing about the abuses to which mages under the care of the Circle were subjected. Make no mistake, there were abuses. We will never find a peaceful solution to this conflict until we admit that we were partially responsible. Imagine how it must have been for Hawk when he rose to prominence for his role in ending the Kunari threat of 934. From refugee to champion of Kirkwall. Hawk's position gave him power and influence. Nothing could touch him. But although the champion of Kirkwall walked free, there were mages in the gallows who did not. The thought must have rankled. Are the champion's actions during the mage uprising so hard to understand, given all I have said? Following the destruction of the Chantry, Knight Commander Meredith invoked the right of annulment and called for the execution of every mage in Kirkwall. It was not right. Another injustice added to an already lengthy list. Hawk knew it and stood against her. He put himself between the Templars and the mages they sought to destroy and became a legend. Even though he later disappeared, fleeing Kirkwall and the Chantry's justice, what happened at Kirkwall that day changed Thetis forever. By defying Meredith and our order, Hawk became a beacon for the Mage Rebellion that gave the mages hope, rallied them. They fought back. And here we now stand, on the eve of the Divine Conclave, seeking peace before the Rebellion destroys us all. Knight Commander Martu of Montsimon, speaking to Templars attending the Divine Conclave. Alright, so now we know a little bit more about the Champion of Kirkwall. 
And I know there was another thing that showed up, but I don't remember what it was now. So sorry, everybody. I won't be reading that. I know that just breaks your hearts. 